Phoenix faring even worse. We topped the list of cities with the highest inflation rate, 12.3%. Fox 10's Marissa Starback breaking it all down for us tonight. Marissa? Certainly something we don't want to be winning at, but consumers here, I'm sure, can agree with this. They understand the prices are just higher all across the board, but what's staggering here are the numbers. 9.1 across the nation and 12.3 here in the Phoenix area, and these are numbers we have not seen for 40 years. Inflation at its root is too much money chasing too few good. So how did we get here? It's a multifaceted problem that ASU economics professor Dennis Hoffman says has been brewing for years. Too much money got into the system with the easy monetary policy for the better part of the last 15 years and uh, large stimulus injections during the pandemic. And that was coupled with supply shortages. Now, Americans are quite literally paying the price for it. In a global economy, Hoffman says the U.S. implementing tariffs or cutting off trade with countries hurts the American consumer. There's going to be consequences, not just to them, but to everybody. And prices are going to go up. You cannot immediately convert to domestic production for everything when you've been so dependent on globalization for decades. Enter higher prices for groceries, gas, and just about everything else. Experts say we have two options, live with fewer goods and services or pay higher prices for them. And so we all feel some pain, uh, but some of us feel a lot more pain than others. And I think that's real, the real challenge with inflation. It just simply doesn't hit everybody equally. Economists here in Arizona say the numbers at the pump are what paved the way for Phoenix to top the list of cities seeing the highest inflation. But with wholesale prices finally starting to show a decrease, retail prices could soon follow. I would think uh, that we're going to see some continued softening in prices at the pump. Are they going back to 2 and $3 a gallon? I don't think so. Not anytime soon. The Federal Reserve is set to meet again July 26th and 27th, and Chair Jerome Powell has hinted that we could see another interest rate increase in a federal hike there at three quarters of a percent. But Hoffman says he actually could see it going up to one full percentage point. And if that happens, it's all meant to help curb inflation, but also puts us at risk of recession. Live in Phoenix, Marissa Sarback for Fox 10 News.